Hi everybody! Welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, we're back here witnessing a... God, fuck. I don't even know. I don't know why these people are fighting out here in the yard of all places, for Christ's sake. Jesus. This prisoner is... A... <laughs> Sorry. Not just this prisoner. These prisoners are indeed intense. But this prison experience so far has been pretty intense as well. Holy crap. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, we're back. There is blood in the yard now. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we had a couple of deaths last episode. <laughs> um, we had these guys coming in under, like, protective care or whatever. Is this the same? It is. <laughs> What's the fucking deal with these Polaroids duplicating and stuff? It's hey, what was that sound? It sounded like somebody was being shivved, uh, but possibly not. All right, listen. Let's lock this one open so that these people can actually get to and fro um, with ease. I mean, there's a couple of more doors down here. This whole door situation really needs to be resolved uh, pretty quickly. But we've got other things to be doing as well, right? Like unlocking prison labor. That would be good. Uh, we're also going to get the warden to start researching security uh, so that we can get the security chief in. This guy is going to be instrumental in... Is this guy having a tantrum and a shower at the same time? Like, what's he looking for? Drugs. I see. All right. He's taking a shower and he's just had this overwhelming urge for drugs. I get that. I mean, I've had that happen to me before. What's this guy doing? Is he actually getting out? It's not possible that he's getting out, is it? Is he actually watching TV? In the reception area? Like, that is a huge no-no. <laughs> Why is this guy... I mean, he can just escape. Oh, this guy... What? Prison labor has not been set up yet. Why is this guy sitting out here in the reception? All right. This highlights the need, okay, for deployment and logistics and stuff. We have to make this a no-prisoner zone, okay? Nobody's coming in here to get their <laughs> recreation on. And nobody's certainly coming in here to pretend that they're the receptionist in the reception. Holy crap. All right, any, <laughs> any innocent, back to your cell before any more trouble is caused. Holy crap. I'm stressing out big time here. This is crazy. I've never had so much trouble playing this game before in my life. All right. Uh, one thing that we need to get installed as well uh, before it's too late is some lights inside. We need at least a light in the infirmary. And you know what? We also need to get rid of some of these old plans because they're really annoying, aren't they? Like, there's a couple that are just around here and I don't like them. And trust me, when I see them, I'll get rid of them if I notice them. I won't always notice them, though. It's got to be said. All right. So as soon as we got deployment unlocked, that'll be great. And we also need to look at hiring a psychologist so that we can delve deep into the psyche of uh, the average prisoner currently residing in uh, whatever this prison is called. I still haven't, like, thought of a name. I was thinking of names earlier or potential names. And I was thinking it brought me back to wrestling uh, for some reason. I started thinking about wrestling. I started thinking about SummerSlam, and you know what? As I was thinking of SummerSlam, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we actually called our prison SummerSlam? Um, and the gimmick there is that it's only open during the summer. I mean, it could be the summer right now. It's 16 degrees Celsius in the evening, so that should mean that it's like the summer. Um, how are we doing in terms of feeding the prisoners? We have enough meals to feed all the prisoners. But there are four prisoners who are just not going to be turning up to meals for varying reasons. Such as solitary confinement and also maybe um, other reasons. Like they're too busy talking on the phone with their loved ones or something. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, this is where we are going to set up our security chief um, deep in the bowels of uh, the admin wing. Oh, which is pretty good actually. Uh, we're going to add a door here as well uh, before long, but maybe not straight away because it's pretty insecure down here. Um, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're just going to hope to God that nobody escapes. Um, another thing that we could look at doing really is setting up a fence all around um, the whole place, right? Like um, I'm thinking something like this. Like, and I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to leave myself enough space to expand out into 
um, in the short term. And then we can just change the fence around as we need to. But I think having like another fence out here, it's a big fence. It's gonna be an expensive fence too, but trust me, it's gonna be a useful fence. All right, we bring the fence all the way down here too. Um, and the garbage and the delivery zone will just have to go back one. So like deliveries can go back one, garbage can go back one. We want to make sure that the garbage and the deliveries are within the fence, too. So this just means that if anybody does manage to get out here for whatever goddamn reason, they still have this fence to contend with, right? And that's pretty realistic. I think most jails have a fence surrounding them entirely. Um, so, fine. These guys can work on that. It looks like this is uh, up and almost ready to go. See, we can see how many extra offices we've added because of this whole system of, like, doors and airlocks and stuff, which is completely unnecessary, but still at the same time. Kind of fun to have. All right, cool. Let us get this office up then. Uh, office is here. This is our fourth office, if you can believe that. Um, we're going to give this guy tons of filing cabinets because he's, like, the security guy, right? So <clears throat> he's going to have to have, like, all sorts of top-secret dossiers on, you know prisoners and the kind of stuff that they like to do and whatever and you know what we're gonna give this guy a tv as well so that he can watch tv while he's thinking up new policies for the prisoners um to acclimatize to and adapt to and i think that'll be good i'm also thinking of potentially um having sort of like an open door policy like i'm gonna incorporate the yard which is secured by a large jail door here uh, the canteen, which is secured by a jail door here, and pretty much the kitchen stuff. We got a jail door here, which um, we're going to set to normal now. And we got some more jail doors down here. So I'm thinking of knocking out the wall here and making it easy for the prisoners to just get into the canteen so that we don't have to constantly open these doors and stuff. Really, they should only be coming into this hallway if they're leaving or coming in. Like, they shouldn't really be using these hallways at all, hopefully. It should just be staff. Um, I think that we can change um, somehow the policy so that staff can unlock these doors too. And that might be helpful later on, but I don't think we can do it straight away. So we'll have to wait. All right, security is up. Fantastic. All right, we definitely want deployment and patrols. As soon as the chief moves in, that's going to be his first task is unlocking those two things. Of course, he is not moved in yet. His office is not ready, but you know what? We're going to get the chief in. We're going to plant him in the reception. And he's going to have to wait there like any other visitor to the prison until his office is ready. Chief, make yourself at home. We got a TV. We got some chairs and stuff. It's nice and warm in there thanks to the radiator. So, um, you know, just take a load off because trust me, you're going to be working like a bastard in no time. And it's going to be crazy. All right. Um, let's go in here and let's demolish this one wall you know what we're gonna demolish both of these walls we're gonna get rid of this radiator i think we don't need this radiator here possibly um so we're gonna get rid of it and we're also going to demolish walls here and here to give uh prisoners access to the canteen whenever they want you know what if somebody sends them an apple in the mail or something like that they might want to go into the canteen and sit at a table and eat that uh, apple or whatever and you know what i'm cool with that i'm absolutely fine with that these kind of look like picnic tables i mean maybe we could do with some nice picnic tables outside the weather is really nice it was 16 degrees yesterday so that might be like a sign that maybe prisoners are gearing up to having like outside barbecues or picnics or whatever i think that'd be pretty sweet all right let us also get um a jail door out here to secure the outer perimeter uh, and that should be pretty good. And then uh, we'll keep this jail door here too. I mean, we want this to be ultra secure, right? So having lots of doors, um, deployment will help with the door opening stuff. Currently, a lot of these guys are just milling around in all the wrong places, right? But later on, once we have deployment, we can actually put them in good places uh, and they should be fine. All right, let's go for, um, what kind of floor do we want in the canteen? We're going to go for a wooden floor in this canteen. It's going to cost a lot of money, but in the long run, it's going to be worth it. Uh, this whole area is going to look really nice and top-notch, and all of the prisoners are going to be so happy to be eating in there. It's going to be crazy, uh, and it's going to be fun too. 
Uh, how much space is here? One, two, three, four. Or do I actually want to... Hmm, I don't know if I want to do this, actually. I'm trying to find a place to put the um, psychologist and give him an office. But I think I might do something uh, back here instead or like maybe just off to the side here. Actually, off to the side here. So that he's kind of close to where the, do the other doctors and stuff are. I mean, he himself is indeed a doctor. Um, so it makes sense for him to be close to the other doctors. You know, just in case they have to have a powwow from time to time. Talk about things or, you know trade like secrets and, and stuff like that you know i'm just thinking in, in the long run that could be a thing all right let's set up the psychologist office then like here there should be enough room for him to have an office here and then we could think about getting a door like here oh actually we don't want to just put walls there we're gonna need foundations for this i need some brick foundations and we're gonna set up those brick foundations like uh here and you know what we're gonna give him a big office because why not, right? He is a psychologist. He's a trained psychologist. He knows what he's doing. We're going to give him a big plush office um, so that when the prisoners come by and they've got some things that they need to talk about for whatever reason, he's ready. And he's got the accommodation to suit, too. Can they get up there? Yeah, they can. Okay, perfect. All right. So we have, like, extra security around the prison now in the form of fences. Uh, another thing I need to do before I... I thought that they were having a riot, but actually it just turned out to be construction work, which is fine, actually. Has the chief moved into his new digs? Yeah, he has. Uh, sadly, he's working away there, beavering away without any lights on <laughs> in his office. I guess we should probably help him out there. Uh, we're going to have to run power all the way down here, too. Going to have to uh, spend a bit more on infrastructure. I can't believe, like, already we're almost out of money. What have I been spending money on, mostly? Tarting up floors, I think. You know, these laying down a wooden floor is not cheap, it turns out. It's actually pretty damn expensive. All right, so uh, we're going to have a just a normal door for the psychologist. We're going to have an open door policy. It's going to be across the hall from the doctors. And this is, of course, so that uh, people um, feel like they can go see the psychologist. I think this would be pretty good. We'll also get a completion bonus of 10 grand once he's in and set up. That'll be nice too. And I think what we want to do is we want to put a metal detector here so that when the prisoners come through here to the, um, you know, the medical wing, I guess, if you like, um, they're not going to bring any forks and stuff and try to stab the shrink because that would be terrible. I mean, that's definitely something we don't want happening ever. Um, so let's try to avoid that. Uh, we're all powered up here. This is good. And we get a light. Um, you know what? He can have two lights in the middle. Because why not, right? It's like right in the center of the room. We can pretend that they're like those fluorescents. You know, like those tube, tubular fluorescent lights that you see in offices and stuff. Pretty good. Oh, we have a new prisoner arriving in two hours as well. All right. Let's try to get this guy all set up. This is going to be our fifth office. Leave that. And uh, we are going to get an office desk. We have to make sure that the office desk is facing towards where the prisoners. Now, he's going to do solo work um, in terms of therapy, solo therapy. But he can also do couples therapy as well. And that's why we've given two chairs. We're going to put a sofa in here too, just in case he wants to do that thing where like you lay down and you talk to the prisoner. You want to sit in the chair next to it. And we're going to keep all sorts of files on the prisoners, too. And, of course, no um, office of a psychologist is complete without just, like, a ton of bookshelves, too. So we're going to get a couple of those set up. Some bookshelves. And does he need a radio? Probably not. I don't think that's appropriate. I think that... I think if you go to the laundromat and they're listening to the radio and Bon Jovi's blaring out or whatever... That's acceptable. I think when you're going to have some mental health issues diagnosed or um, maybe treated by a trained professional, you don't want to have Bon Jovi blaring in the background. That might just be enough to like set you off in a major way. And um, it's like a delicate situation, this, right? So to make sure. Okay, uh, we should have just enough money left now to hire a... Hang on a second. Did I even research it? Holy crap, I did not. All right, Warden. Get on it. It's going to take five hours to research this psychologist into um, into being, but 
trust me, it'll be worth it. All right, it looks like uh, the security guy is researching deployment first, which is good. Uh, and he's going to do patrols next. Uh, as soon as deployment is online, we can deploy guards all over the place. And actually, I think we need to hire... Well, another gardener as well, sure. But I was going to say we should hire two guards. Oh, well. We got a bonus gardener. Not for free, mind you. It did cost a lot of money. But um, anyway, we now have an extra gardener. I mean, this place could use some tarting up and expanding as well. We could probably expand it out. Oh, shit. What's going on? I can hear fighting in the showers, and there's not a single guard down there. Now the janitor's going in. All right. Get on it. We're doing a bang up. Guards, where are you? For the love of Christ, somebody's unconscious out here. What's going on? Where were you? Jeez. They're too busy opening doors. Jeez, I can't believe it. All right. Somebody's been injured. Everybody else can go out and have a shower now. Look, everybody's too scared to go out and have a shower because of this guy that's been injured. Has somebody been killed? Or is he just unconscious? I mean, these two guys are like really violent. They're already in the maximum security um, garbs. And who is this? Who's this? Ivan Stepanov has just come back to his cell. Oh, they're in lockup now. Did everyone have a nice shower? I hope not. You don't deserve it, you animals. Man, deployment cannot come soon enough. Everybody's going to be pissed now because they missed their shower and all this other crap as well. Well, hopefully they'll get out there and, um, and eat before long. We should probably change the schedules up and stuff too at some point. Maybe there's like too much time allocated to some of this stuff, like showering. Or maybe like normal security and maximum security should have separate shower times. You know what? I'm thinking, yeah. I think that have a shower time here and then have a lockup here, okay? Maximum security. Uh, and then normal security can have their shower after you. So from 7 until 9, it's like shower and lockup time. You know what? I think that's good already. Shower time seems to be a bit of a problem, doesn't it? And we have some trouble distinguishing between... Oh, look at this. Everybody's hungry, but they also want to go on the phone and talk to their loved ones and stuff too. Actually, I think that people are getting so hungry now that we're going to get some problems. It, well, this guy's just having a shower in his free time. Well, if that's what you want to do in your free time, then so be it. I mean, who's to stop you? You guys have, like, open, open rain now, like, on this whole area, which is pretty much locked down, which is a good thing. Jesus Christ. It's, it's happening again. Who is this now? Brian Sloan, a 21-year-old who's just decided to have a tussle with the police and has been knocked unconscious. I can't believe it. Ah, finally. Deployment. Holy crap. All right. First things first, we want staff only in the reception. Also, staff only down here. Prisoners, stay out. Okay? This is like the admin wing and stuff. We don't want prisoners in here either. All right. Medium security. Yeah. Yes. This is all for medium security. And um, that means that the... Hang on a second. Maximum security. Um, maybe we can't do that yet because we do have some su some maximum security. We have no super max, but we have this like protected stuff, which probably could have saved the lives of uh, those two dudes. Did they just find something in the kitchen? Are we going to need metal detectors coming out of here too? Because we have a metal detector going into here. Oh, but I see. We don't actually have metal detectors coming in and out of here. Okay, we're going to have to do that. Let's close this and let's get some metal detectors here and here. We don't want anyone going back to their cell with stuff. Uh, because they're going to dig holes and try to get out of here. Has anyone escaped yet? Let me just quickly check. Uh, where is it? It comes in like somewhere around here, I think. Needs policy, no grants. Oh, we can take another grant. Uh, let's go for a short-term investment, shall we? Inmate health and well-being. We're about to get 10,000 um, bucks. Short-term investment will give us um, some money, but I don't think it'll give us anything up front. Advanced payment is minus 5,000 bucks, but then on completion, we get 16,000 bucks. Maybe we should go for the staff well-being initiative next as well. Which, uh, hasn't given us any money, but will give us some money. Uh, we need a staff room, and we have to make sure that none of our staff are exhausted. 
That should be easy enough. All right, so deployment. We also want guards. We want a guard. We want two guards deployed in this cell block, for Christ's sake. Jeez. We're going to have one guard deployed in the reception so that you can open the doors and stuff for people, for Christ's sake. We're also going to have a guard in the canteen at all times. And let's also have a guard uh, patrolling the hallways and stuff. No. Okay. That's fine for now, I think. Perfect. Logistics? Prison labor. Perfect. Room quality? Temperature. Look at that. This whole place is piping hot. Uh, the reason being that it's 26 degrees Celsius outside right now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the midst of the biggest heat wave of this year. Everybody is getting really shirty about it, too. Everybody's sweating. You know, they're doing that thing when they're eating their bacon and they're sweating before the food even enters their mouth. It's terrible. It's not the place you want to be in. I guess our next cell block can be like a maximum security thing. What's all that dinging and donging? What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's this. <laughs> it's because of all the door opening. Nice. All right. Well, anyway, we have like some special dinging and some donging taking place, which is pretty good. And the next thing on the agenda is building a staff room. God, Jesus Christ. That's going to drive me nuts. Oh, yeah. We also have to hire our psychologist so that we can get some sort of idea. Hang on a second. Is this not even done yet? Where the hell? Warden, what are you doing? What's taking so long? You just having like a nap or something? Jesus. Um, man, I think we're going to need some more guards. All right, let's do it. Two more guards. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. Perfect. We should be in good shape here now. Who's this guy? Sloan. He's coming back. Violent disorder, four years. And murder, 25 years. He's the maximum security prisoner. Um, it would be nice to actually have a maximum security wing for some of these guys to go to. Um, but uh, have a couple of cells that aren't occupied so that, you know, we have a bit of wiggle room from time to time. That would be good. Uh, it sounds like that's done. So we can finally hire our psychologist and we're going to put him... I don't know why he can't get in there. It's blocked for some reason. Okay, just put him here. Off he goes. What's going on now? For goodness sake, guys. Jeez. Overheating. Really? <laughs> They're overheated. <laughs> Jeez. I didn't realize that that was a thing. <laughs> Can we get air conditioners or what? I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's no air conditioning. Or is there? There's a door control system. Oh, shit. That's pretty cool. Uh, phone taps. Nice. Door sir. What is all this stuff? Status lock. Jesus. Logic bridge? Door timer? Oh my god. Holy crap. I can't wait to unlock some of this stuff. I've never played with any of this stuff and it looks pretty fucking cool. Alright. So anyway, psychologist is in, which means that uh, we've opened up space for another grant. Cell block B? It's time to further expand your prison beyond a simple holding. We have to up the prisoner capacity to 50. I'm not sure we're ready for that at all, you know? Uh, I don't think we are. Uh, should we go for uh, prisoner acclimatization and engagement? This is uh, prisoners working in the kitchen, laundry, which we need, and the cleaning cupboard. Uh, we get an advance payment and a completion bonus for this one. Yeah, let's do it. I think it's time. Perfect. And we need this staff room as well. Where the hell are we going to put the staff room? You know what? It can, like, come out here, I think. It can be, like, a big... Uh, hallway spanning staff room as part of the admin wing. Let's plan it, shall we? Perfect. Okay, it'll be like kind of close to where the... This should be fine, you know? I think this is adequate space. We want to leave like a little gap in between here, I think. But we just need some couches in here, maybe a pool table, some drinks machines and stuff. I think we're, I think we're all right with that. Okay, we'll go for brick building then too. Um, and we'll have an entrance into the staff room. Probably like um, here. We'll have one here. And you know what? We'll have one here too. Why not? It's going to be a big old staff. And here too. Three entrances into the staff room. I think that's going to be great. All right. Let's see what our deployment zones are like. Are looking like. They're looking okay actually. This is pretty good. So staff only. This is good. Um, this whole part of the prison is staff only. And then uh, once we sort of have a place to put maximum security... 
we can set some of this stuff aside for medium security and have the maximum security guys have their own uh, area so that not intermingling. Uh, for now, we're going to have to change the maximum security uh, times and stuff around because we don't want these guys mingling together, right? So we're going to lock them up there and have some free time. Uh, they can eat separately as well. I think that'll be fine. They can have their eating time here. So that means like two eating times. And then they can have lock up. And then these guys can eat. And same with yard time. You know what? Maximum security are only going to have a little bit of yard time, the assholes. Okay? And the rest of this time they're in lock up. Okay? Lock up. All the way down. And then for free time... There's no free time to be had there. They have their free time after, right after their yard time, which doesn't actually make much sense, but there you go. They have to a little bit of lock up in between. Um, and then let's also say that they eat and that they're, they're gonna eat right after their free time. Okay, eat. And then these guys are going to eat after. Perfect. Okay, this is good. Okay, you know what? Let's give them a little bit of extra yard time, because why not? This is for maximum security only. All right, so now medium security and maximum security, although they're sharing facilities, shouldn't be up in each other's business uh, and getting bullied like the medium security guys. Um, and, you know, if we get normal security guys in here, they are going to be treated like bitches, like really bad by these guys. So we're going to have to separate them out. We can make like a Care Bear wing up here for like the normal security. Um, and then they'll never have to mix with these guys, but that can come later. We are going to have to accept more prisoners um, at some point because we are running uh, low on money. But we'll add some more cells and stuff and it'll be fine. I think we have the capacity. Um, we just need to hang on to some money, plan it out a bit better, hire some more staff and stuff, and we should be good. Pooh! Man! Holy crap! That was pretty stressful, but at the same time, I think we're okay. Sis. Tim Noah, 29. He's suppressed and overheated, and he's currently sitting in the holding cell for some reason. I'm not sure why. Is he up for parole or something? Or up for release? I'm not sure. He's taking a dump anyway to celebrate. Good for him. Cool. All right. Well, uh, there we go. Uh, another prison architect. Holy crap. We'll be back next time where we will continue to plot along and hopefully run this prison smoothly. Um, and check out some of the new stuff, too, because there's um, quite a bit of it, and it looks pretty interesting. I can't wait. All right, excellent. Well, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.